I just thought I'd do a little video because again, I've been really bad at uploading. So I just thought, let's make something really nice and easy and make a little video. Um, I just thought, I really like my outfit today, so I thought I'd give you a little update. So I've just got these little shorts on with a belt. So these are from New Look, this is River Island. And I've got a bodysuit with a high neck and that's also from New Look. So yeah, it's just a cute little outfit. It's still, well, I say it's warm. Literally, um, you can just chuck a jacket on, can't you? And then voila, nice little autumn uh, outfit. So today I'm gonna make the honeycomb. Um, I also actually used to love my tin. So this is gonna be my tin. I'm gonna put it in once it's uh, cooked. Uh, so I'm just gonna line it actually because otherwise it'll get stuck. I also need some more of this. Um, I literally use it for everything, so, you know, I need it, right, where is something that's hold it? Just use my little salt and peppers just to hold it down. Keep it in, just for now. Okay, that's done. Okay, so first of all, we need 200 grams of pasta sugar. Let me just put that on. I really love honeycomb. I just, like, my favourite chocolate bar is the crunchy. Um, I actually know that a lot of people disagree and don't think that it's that great, but I love it, so why not make me own? So I have done this before. And... It tasted all right, it just wasn't very uh, crunchy. I don't know if I didn't leave it long enough or I didn't let it get hot enough in the pan. Um, but yeah, it was quite a soft honeycomb, so it was quite sticky, which I don't mind, but obviously it didn't last very long. And as it got warmer throughout the day, it then went even more soft and bendy. So yeah, probably not the best, but we'll try again. So I've just got some golden syrup. My other ones have run out, so I'm just using my one. Need a hundred grams of this. And then you're just gonna, once you've got enough. I actually, oops, I actually did a bit too much sugar. I can do a little bit more. And this will probably get stuck in here as well, so. I watched a, a video last night by Cupcake Gemma and she made a Snickers cake and I watched her making caramel and nougat and I thought, oh, no, I, could, I just couldn't ever think I would get the right timing. You know, I'd always feel like I'd do it so wrong. Um, so, yeah, I guess you just gotta keep practicing, don't you? And do what you do. I apologize if my voice goes a little bit funny during the videos. I have got actual video that I'm planning with my mum, my sister and my girlfriend. So that's going to be quite exciting and um, pretty cool. So obviously keep an eye out for that if you're interested. But I can't really, I don't want to give too much away. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. So we'll be able to do that soon. Because it's all getting stuck. Now, just go with it. It looks really awful, but just go with it because when it starts to get warm, it works. <laughs> Trust me. So now you can see like it's got hotter. It's obviously melting now. So it was on a medium heat, but I've now turned it up a little bit higher. Um, and then hopefully it will start going a more ambery color. Um, and that's when we take it off the heat and we add two table, no, two teaspoons even of bicarb. So you really don't want to let this stick to the bottom of the pan either. So keep stirring. You want all the sugar to have dissolved. Oh, it smells amazing, it's so caramelly. So yeah, you don't want it to catch because it won't taste nice. So just keep stirring. 
shouldn't take too long, but yeah, this is definitely feeling very smooth now and it's really starting to bubble. So, give it another few seconds. And then I'm going to take it off the heat now. So it's quite a nice colour. It's more like a caramelly amber colour. I'm just going to let it cool for a minute or so. So we have now come to the cool part. So I am going to add two teaspoons of bicarb um, and that will hopefully make it froth up into more like a honeycomb style. So here's number one. And then we're going to give it a whisk. Right, it's already starting to froth now, as you can see. It smells like honeycomb. I don't know if I need a bit more. I'm a sucker for thinking that things haven't worked and that I need to put more in. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I um, come up with new things, you see. Because I just carry on adding stuff that probably doesn't need to be added. Right, so it has frothed a little bit. I don't know how much you're supposed to mix, but it's getting a lot thicker. Some recipes say different. Some say use a wooden spoon. Some say use a whisk. I'm gonna give both a go. Last time I think I used a wooden spoon. Maybe I should use a whisk then. <laughs> I don't know how much it's um, going to make a difference, but it is frothed up. Ouch, that was hot. Make sure you don't touch the sugar in the honeycomb because it's still really hot. And hot sugar burn, just get off. Okay, so it's going a really nice. Um, golden caramel colour. I think my pan is far too big, but we're just going to go with it anyway. Put it in. It might um, expand again anyway, so we'll just see. Because you have to leave it for about hour, hour and a half now. Oh, it looks pathetic in this big tin. <laughs> oh well. We'll go with it. And see what happens. It's just a test, I guess. I guess. I guess. If it works. It's a test for you guys, really. If you can uh, make it. If you do make it, do let me know. I will show you the end product. But it is already going hard. So maybe it will turn out all right this time. I'll show you it in the tin in a second. Looks absolutely pathetic. But this is it, let me show you. This is my attempt at a honeycomb. Isn't it too bad? Has the right kind of colour, but uh, I guess we'll see in about an hour, hour and a half what it's like. So, update on the honeycomb. It looks pretty cool. I think it still needs to go a bit harder. Um, I did have a little taste, it tastes quite nice. Um, so yeah, I would give the recipe a try, test out um, different amounts of um, sugar and syrup and different utensils to mix it, I guess. But yeah, give it a go, let me know if you make it and see what it's like. Thank you for watching, see you soon.